dear students uh, and uh, in the continuation of vtu e sectional lecture the chapter which we were discussing according to the open elective subject that is linear algebra the next chapter in the module 1 today i shall discuss with all of you and uh, the chapter title is vector spaces and what are the sub contents in the main chapter that is vector spaces let me introduce to you the first topic is in that vector space the definition of the vector space next is the meaning of subspaces next is linear dependent and dependent independent vectors basis and dimensions coordinate vectors computations concerning subspaces and few examples on this topic all these contents will be covered in the module 1 that is second chapter that is in the vector spaces till previous class we studied about uh, the consistency and the inconsistency of the system of linear equations after understanding the meaning of the rank of the matrices and the concept of matrices and the theory of matrices will be continued and today also in declaring uh, the value value of the numerical value of wherever matrices uh, we are going to consider by applying the determinants and this is completely uh, the abstract algebra concept oriented and what are the what are the defi definitions that we come across in the vector space subspace uh, basis dimension and the linear combination of the system of linear equations uh, let me write the sub contents under this topic those sub contents <coughs> are in the second chapter <coughs> the main title is uh, vector spaces definition of vector space next is definition of subspace next is linearly independent and dependent vectors and next discussion is basis and dimension and next is coordinate vectors and computations concerning subspaces these are the topics maybe uh, problems in all the topics we will cover this is all about uh, uh, module 1 that is uh, chapter number 2 there are two chapters uh, already we have discussed uh, in the previous lectures chapter number 1 now chapter number 2 that is vector space let us understand what is the definition of the vector space this vector space is uh, a non empty set that is indicated as v capital v and uh, the axioms related to this vector space are to be satisfied the definition first of all i'll take the definition of the vector space <coughs> vector space is a non empty set a non empty set v if the following axioms the following axioms are satisfied So, what are the axioms related to this definition of vector space? Axioms, axioms or assumptions you can call first assumption, second assumptions, uh, third assumption like that. So, but all the concepts, all the assumptions or axioms are related to the definition of vector space that is capital V. Okay. So, this vector space will be indicated as a set of uh, 
uh, values where the following axioms are to be satisfied, but it is a non-empty set. This non-empty set means that set should contain the well-defined elements. So, yeah, without elements, that set should not be defined. That is called a vector space. Okay. The first uh, axiom is a field f of scalars. This is the first axiom, and the second one is a set of v objects. A set of v objects called vectors. Here uh, vectors we can take that can be taken as u1, u2 and u3 and so on. Maybe different authors will use uh, different notations in order to represent these vectors u1, u2, u3 and so on. Next the third uh, axiom under the non-empty set uh, where V is said to be vector space, a rule or operation, a rule or operation called vector addition, vector addition which associates With which associates with each pair of vectors. With each pair of vectors. Of course, the pair of vectors means u1, u2. Next pair is u2, u3. Next pair is u3, u4. Next pair is u4, u5. That means every alternate vector in that series we can consider as a pair of vectors. Then vector addition should be hold good and scalar multiplication to the vector also should be hold good. These two conditions must be hold good in order to define what is a vector space. Okay, So that is the third assumption but in this third assumption we have the following points to be satisfied. For example, uh, addition algebraic property should be satisfied. Addition is commutative. Addition is commutative means you can take it as alpha plus beta is equal to beta plus alpha. That is first uh, algebraic property to be hold good. Next one is addition is associative. Addition is associative. That can be taken as alpha plus beta plus gamma. This can be taken as associative law should be hold good. There should be alpha plus beta in the first bracket and to be taken as gamma. That means it is commutative and this is associative. And one more is uh, the scalar multiplication that is also there. Next is a unique vector for each vector alpha in the vector space. In the vector space, <coughs> there is a unique, there is a unique vector, unique, unique vector minus alpha such that, such that the property of the addition we take here, what, what is going to happen between these two? First is given vector is alpha and the unique, unique uh, vector is minus alpha that is alpha plus of minus alpha addition law is commutative right and this becomes alpha minus alpha that is equal to 0. So under this condition the uh, third condition that means third axiom these three must be hold good in order to say that uh, V is a vector space with the non-empty set. <coughs> First one is addition is commutative that means interchanging of the vectors will not affect our calculation that is one point. Second point brackets if you change it is uh, that you can 
notice by giving an example like 2 plus 3 plus 5 is the same as 2 plus 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 if you put in one bracket will be the same as 2 plus 3 in the first bracket and then 5 will, will be in the next bracket. So this is called associative property and there is a unique vector exists for the given vector alpha. If that is the case then it is called as 0. That means addition holds good and associative law, distributive, uh, associative law and commutative law also will be hold good in order to say that V is a vector space. And the next uh, property that we, we, we can take the scalar multiplication that is uh, assumption number 4 that means axiom number 4 here a rule or operation a rule or operation what is that operation so far we have not taken any multiplication that means a rule or operation by a scalar multiplication by a scalar multiplication multiplication is possible is possible <coughs> which associates in the field f therefore is possible with the condition like this the third uh, axiom is followed by three condition fourth axiom is followed by uh, three conditions one is that is 1 into alpha is equal to alpha for all values values of alpha that means this is the algebraic symbol for all we use in the vector space v next what is the next uh, uh, condition according to axiom number four axiom number four the next condition is that is uh, condition number b here it is c1 c2 alpha is equal to c1 c2 into alpha here the commutative law holds good that means 1 into alpha is taken as alpha for the fourth axiom and for the next uh, 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 fourth axiom second point is commutative law holds good third point c into alpha plus beta c into alpha plus c into beta that means this is the scalar multiplication you can call c is the scalar scalar which is multiplied to two vectors alpha and beta and one more point is there c1 plus c2 alpha that counts as c1 alpha plus of c2 alpha then this implies v is a vector space v is the vector space over the field v is the vector space over the field that is f this is what our next assumption that means assumptions uh, will be taken as axioms then if we want to say v is a vector space it must satisfy all these axioms under these axioms uh, algebraic properties must be hold good one is associate uh, commutative law second one is associative law and third one is there exists a unit ve a unique uh, vector that is opposite of a given vector and uh, scalar multiplication so if all these axioms are satisfied then we will say that v is said to be a vector space so now i shall take uh, some examples on how the vector space is going to be valid uh, for different values of alpha different values of beta and different values of c that means we mainly deal with uh, uh, the combination like this uh, alpha plus beta combination because alpha is a vector and beta is a vector and c is multiplied that is called scalar multiplication and it is also the linear combination of these vectors where uh, every every vector is followed by the particular uh, scalar multiplication for example if you take alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 and so on or if you take u1 u2 u3 and so on it must be followed by the corresponding scalar like that is if it is alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 like that it must be respectively followed by c1 c2 c3 and c4 this is a linear combination that is to be hold good and uh, uh, v is a vector space uh, uh, scalar multiplication property also should be hold good so these two properties must be hold good whenever we want to say that is v is a vector space okay so 
the next uh, part of this one to prove all these concepts let, uh, let me take an example here uh, to prove uh, uh, the algebraic properties then the n tipule the n tipule tipule means considering the elements in the vector n tipule space that is f to the power n uh, here let f be any field this is to prove the algebraic properties any field and v be the set of all v be the set of all n tipules that is alpha is equal to like x1 x2 and so on xn right of the scalars of the scalars in f and beta is equal to corresponding values in another symbol that is y1 y2 and yn with the uh, uh, yi with yi as scalars that means here scalars you can call it as xi and here you can call it as yi the scalars such that <coughs> such that alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is equal to you can combine x1 with y1 x1 plus y1 you can put it in one bracket and uh, that is in the main bracket uh, and uh, x2 plus y2 next x3 plus y3 and so on lastly xn plus yn because nth term of x and nth term of y as a summation this is to be closed with the bracket then c is uh, the uh, scalar to be multiplied to each of the vector how the c is going to be accepted in each vector that is first vector is alpha and second vector is beta how the value of c is going to be accepted then choose c as the scalar c as the scalar such that such that c into alpha is equal to c into x1 x2 x3 and so on such that uh, xn that is equal to inside the bracket c into x1 c into x2 and uh, c into x3 and so on that is c into xn that is c alpha that means this is addition in the linear form and this is the scalar multiplication these two properties uh, will be accepted these two properties are hold good to say that v is a vector space that means v is the vector space this is problem number one otherwise example number one now another situation we will prove that why uh, these uh, alpha and beta vectors are considered uh, with the corresponding values alpha takes the values as x1 x2 x3 and beta takes the values as y1 and y1 y2 y3 and so on such that another uh, uh, result which we have to prove the problem is like this the space function the space of functions from the set of to a to a field here we consider uh, like uh, f plus g is operating on s that is equal to f of s plus g of s and if you take c that is f c f operating on s this is c f operating on s that means here also two properties are hold good one is addition that will be in the linear combination and another one is a scalar multiplication this is called addition 
and this is called scalar multiplication scalar multiplication when these two conditions are hold good then we will say that it is said to be a vector space now another uh, situation i will take as a linear combination that is by choosing different uh, type of addition of the vectors next example the space of polynomial functions the space of polynomial functions over the field f over the field f this takes <coughs> f of x is equal to c0 plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus so on plus cn x to the power n then in this uh, equation uh, these are the variables we can call these are the variables but first variable you can put it as x to the power 0 where c0 c1 c2 and so on are the scalars are the scalars that is called nth polynomial we can take because the highest degree of this is nth polynomial means x to the power n is there and similarly in another case which we can see the same addition and uh, scalar multiplication also hold good now i shall take the next definition as subspace under the first topic that is vector space the next definition subspace how the definition is associated with vector space if v is a vector space <coughs> this is the standard symbol always v we take as a vector space if v is a vector space and w is a subset of u if under the addition if under the addition and scalar multiplication scalar multiplication that is defined that is defined on v then on v that means on the vector space then w is a subspace of the vector space v if v is a, a vector space that means v is the vector space and w is a subset of u subset of u and uh, if under the addition and scalar multiplication that is defined on v then w is a subspace of this vector space v this is the subspace definition now so what are the uh, situations that we can prove where w is the subspace and v is the vector space let me take an example to prove this uh, definition or to give the meaning of this definition of the vector space example determine if the given set if the given set is a sub, subspace is a subspace of the given vector space vector space v then question a there are two questions let pn pn be the set of all polynomials 
set of all polynomials of degree of degree n or less of degree n or less the question is is this subspace is this subspace is the this subspace of f of a comma b this is the first question and second question for this let w be the set of all w be the set of all functions set of all functions such that such that f of 6 equal to 10 f of 6 equal to 10 if otherwise the question is is this is this a subspace is this a subspace of f a comma b a comma b such that a less than or equal to 6 less than or equal to b this is the second question let us prove the meaning of this subspace for the given problem now what is given uh, statement determine if the given set is a subspace of the given vector space v if this is the case the first question is let pn be the set of all polynomials of degree n or less then is this a subspace of this f of a comma b then next uh, question for the same statement second question let w be the set of all functions such that f of 6 equal to 10 is this a subspace of f of a comma b such that that is a is less than or equal to 6 less than or equal to uh, b then solution for the first question the answer let the polynomial let the polynomial pn let the polynomial pn be set to have be set to have here what is the degree you can expect that is pn means nth degree set to have the degree n the degree n then then we define then we define u is equal to a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x to the power n minus 2 plus so on this is last one is a 1 x and plus a naught this is one vector another vector is v that is uh, uh, v is equal to but not the vector space symbol this is v is equal to some small letter but this is a capital letter v is equal to b n and y to the power n uh, sorry same symbol let me use x to the power n plus b1 x to the power n minus 1 plus b2 x to the power uh, b n this is b n minus 1 and b n minus 2 and uh, x to the power n minus 2 plus so on plus so of it is b1 x and plus so of b naught we have two vectors one is u of nth degree polynomial nth degree polynomial here i have written in the decreasing powers decreasing powers means n n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on x to the power 1 and x to the power 0 x to the power 0 is 1 and here v is equal to b n x to the power n b n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 and n minus 2 b n minus 2 x to the power n minus 2 plus so on b 1 x plus b naught that means whatever this suffix is there it should be the uh, multiplication with this uh, uh, variable x and with the power as same number that is n is there n should be there n minus 1 is there n minus 1 n minus 2 is there n minus 2 and here uh, this is x to the power 1 should be there it is understood and a naught 
into x to the power this is just like x to the power 0 x to the power 0 means that is 1 and here also x to the power 0 means that is 1 therefore now we will take what is the addition and what is the scalar multiplication because to say that if v is a v is the vector space it must satisfy two conditions one is vector addition should be closed in that uh, particular reference and uh, uh, scalar multiplication to the vector also should be uh, satisfied therefore we consider two vectors then we will take the addition of these two what i will do in this addition is i will take x to the power n common i will put it a n plus b n in the first bracket and x to the power n minus 1 i will take common i will put it uh, a n minus 1 plus b n minus 1 likewise every uh, pair of uh, uh, quantities we will consider for these two vectors so uh, here according to the addition which we take <coughs> we define these be the two polynomials you can write with the degree highest degree as n polynomials of degree polynomials of degree n then we define then we define c as the scalar c as the scalar such that c as the scalar such that this is the solution for the first question which I am writing then uh, you can add these two vectors that is u plus v is equal to a n and uh, x to the power n plus of a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x to the power n minus 2 plus so on plus of a 1 x plus of a naught this is in one bracket and plus of b n x to the power n plus b n minus 1 this symbol and uh, x to the power n minus 1 plus of plus of b n minus 2 into x to the power n minus 2 and uh, plus so on plus of b 1 x plus of b naught then you close this bracket here I will take the vector addition in this form that is u plus v then from these two brackets the common uh, uh, quantity is x to the power n minus n as the highest uh, polynomial that means highest polynomial means polyno polynomial of degree n here we have considered then a n plus b n the first term here and the first term there this is x to the power n plus of a n minus 1 plus b n minus 1 into x to the power n minus 1 plus of a n minus 2 plus b n minus 2 into x to the power n minus 2 plus so on plus so on plus of you collect the uh, coefficients of a 1 that is plus b 1 this you put it in one bracket and x and plus of that is last term is a naught and plus of it is b naught so this is vector addition which uh, holds good for uh, uh, given two vectors now uh, this, uh, when it, when this addition holds good and also the scalar multiplication you have to consider in the same way because these two conditions must be hold good in order to say that v is a vector space then this is for u plus v then for scalar multiplication scalar multiplication scalar multiplication we have that is c into u is equal to uh, c into a n x to the power n plus of a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus of a n minus 2 
x to the power n minus 2 and plus so on plus of a1 x plus of a0 and this is equal to c into a n x to the power n plus c into a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 and plus so on plus of c into a1 x plus of c into a0. This is for scalar multiplication. This is second requirement and this is the first requirement. That means these two additions are going to take place in order to say that V is a vector space. That means in both the cases the degree is not greater than n. That means in both operations, in both operations, what are those operations? One is vector addition operation and another one is scalar multiplication operation. The degree n remains to be same. In this, this is x to the power n and this is x to the power n. In both the operations, the polynomial, the polynomial that is given as Pn, the polynomial Pn possess, possess uh, the degree, <coughs> the degree of u and v not exceeding n, not exceeding n. Then what we call not exceeding n in both, that means in vector u and vector v, even when you take addition, this is not going to affect on the coefficient. This is not going to affect on the coefficient. This is not going to affect on the coefficient because in the decreasing powers, we have written x to the power n, x to the power n minus 1, x to the power n minus 2, x to the power 1 and x to the power 0. The powers will remain same. Then we say that uh, Pn is closed under addition. Therefore, Pn is closed, Pn is closed under addition, that means vector addition, closed under addition and scalar multiplication, addition and scalar multiplication. That implies Pn is a subspace, Pn is a subspace of f of ab, f of ab. So this is the answer for the first question. Now second question is to be answered by taking let w be the set of all w be the set of all functions we are answering for the second question set of all functions such that such that f of 6 is equal to 10 it's the given condition Here the numerical value is given the function at uh, x equal to 6 that means uh, the condition is f of 6 equal to 10 under the condition that is f of 6 equal to 10 then the question is is this a subspace is this a subspace of f of a comma b where a is less than or equal to 6, less than or equal to b. Now we shall choose the notations as f of x is equal to f and g of x is equal to g. I will choose two functions because to define at two extreme values. At two extreme values means one is a and the other one is b. Then these are the two functions we take in a uh, a short form of the symbol then then f at x equal to 6 that is equal to 10 and this you can call it as f of 6 and similarly g at x equal to 6 that is also equal to 10 this is f of sorry g of 6 so there are two functions which the same number holds good that is f of 6 
f of 6 means this x is equal to 6. Therefore, the function first one f where x is a variable, the function g x is a variable and this is uh, uh, limited to 10. That means first functional value is 10 and second functional value is also 10. So, let us consider uh, the uh, to uh, prove that uh, it is a subspace that means w is a subspace. Let us prove that addition condition hold good uh, to say that uh, two conditions to be satisfied. One is vector addition and the other one is scalar multiplication. Now we will check both the conditions to say that w is a subspace of the given vector space. If that condition is hold good, we will say that w is a subspace. If that condition is does not hold good, then we do not say that w is a sub subspace of the given vector space. Now, so to claim or to prove that to prove that w is a subspace subspace we can verify we can verify that conditions what are those conditions uh, addition one is addition condition and the another one is scalar multiplication condition okay uh, we can verify uh, that conditions those conditions we can say those conditions for addition and what and scalar multiplication what is the addition yeah you have given two functions and if these functions when you take addition that value should lie within that given uh, uh, limit that limit is a is less than or equal to 6 6 is less than or equal to b within that only it has to be satisfied let us see how these uh, conditions are going to be verified so we will we will consider this one as let f plus g at 6 to be operated that is f of 6 plus g of 6. So, f of 6 plus g of 6 is equal to 10 plus 10. This is equal to 20. This is equal to 20 means here the condition is given up to maximum is 10, but this value is equal to 20. Summation of two values when it is equal to 20, where this is not equal to 10 because your given value is 10 only. This is not equal to 10 and the scalar multiplication c of f operating on 6 that is equal to c into f of 6 this is equal to c into f of 6 equal to 10 f of 6 equal to 10 means that is 10 c you can call what is the meaning of 10 c here c can take because c is a scalar it's a constant value 10 c is also not equal to 10 where 10 c is also not equal to 10 where c is greater than 1 because if c is equal to 1 means it belongs to 10 but c is not equal to 1 if c is greater than 1 means example you can take it as c is equal to 2 c is equal to 3 c is equal to 4 like that so this is also not equal to 10 and this is also not equal to 10 so scalar multiplication and uh, vector addition so this is addition 20 we are getting which is not equal to 10 this is scalar multiplication 6 but given value that is uh, f of 6 equal to 10 and 10 c is equal to 10 uh, 10 c is equal to uh, sorry 10 c is not equal to 10 where c is greater than 1 that means what is your conclusion here from both the uh, uh, conditions that is addition is not going to be satisfied and scalar multiplication is also not going to be satisfied this clearly indicates this clearly indicates uh, the w the subspace is not not satisfied with these two conditions otherwise w we can write w is not closed under closed under addition closed under addition and what and scalar multiplication scalar 
multiplication scalar multiplication then what is your conclusion w is not a subspace not a subspace in the vector space v in the vector space v hope you have got the meaning of that because we have defined two functions and each function is the given value is 10 even if you consider one more function as that is also 10 then addition takes on the same number that is f of 6 plus g of 6 one value is 10 another value is 10 and addition of these two is equal to 20 20 is not equal to 10 and c into f of 6 that is equal to c into f of 6 but c is greater than 1 and this is 10 c is equal to 10 where uh, that value is not uh, compared with uh, 10 hence you are not getting this c into 10 is equal to 10 only because this is the scalar means it will take uh, uh, various numbers when you multiply that 10 c is greater than 1 maybe it is 2 or 1 even 1.1 1 .1 also if you take that is not equal to 10 because uh, that is 1.1.1 .1 .1 into 10 is equal to 10.1 but 10.1 is greater than 10 even for a smaller number of uh, this uh, c scalar that condition is not going to be satisfied but a is less than or equal to 6 less than or equal to b this is uh, that is the maximum limit that is given inequality but this can be taken as either a is less than or equal to 6 less than or equal to b you can also take a comma b like this then 6 belongs to that 6 belongs to a comma b that means between a and b that value 6 also lies therefore two functions when you consider each function is uh, with the given condition then vector addition when you take that becomes 20 which is the exceeding this value 10 and c into f of 6 this is also exceeding with uh, 10 the given limit both the conditions fail when both the conditions fail whatever the subspace w which we are going to claim that is not called as uh, subspace and it is not lying in the vector space whatever the subspace is there it should lie within the vector space therefore this example also proves that the second question answer is w is not a vector space but in the previous first question uh, the answer for this first question is w uh, w is a sub uh, w is a subspace okay because there vector addition and scalar multiplication both will hold good but in this situation both are going to fail both uh, results are in an uh, uh, are not going to satisfy the required uh, basic conditions of vector space thereby we declare that w is not a subspace in the vector space that is called as v hence uh, we declare that w is not a subspace in the second question and w is a subspace in the first question this is what I, shall, I would like to stop up to here. I shall continue in my next uh, lecture. Thank you.